All right, um, good morning for me right now, but good afternoon for everyone watching this video at release date because it's at 1 p.m. For me, it is 8.30 a.m. Um, so I was thinking and thinking about what I wanted to do for a video this week, and then I weighed in today at sub 150 pounds. I weighed in at 149.6 pounds this morning. I mean, where what, 16, 17 weeks post-show right now. Prep ro low was 141. I'm apparently going back to below 150. And I'm eating 3,000 calories a day, guys. 3,000 and still losing. And I was like, there's my video. So, clearly, full day of eating. It is a rest day today, so you're not going to see any gym session. Um, however... I'm going to be trying to get some steps in, try and relax, uh, do lots of stretching because it's good for your body, people. Got to do it long term. Um, so, another cool tip, water. Water first thing in the morning after weighing in. It's very important as your blood is all thick and not moving around. So, you got to thin out your blood with some water so it starts flowing really easy to get you water in immediately so first stuff of the day i'm gonna chuck some water vitamin d gummies men's multi gummies and a scoop of creatine yo terrible angle i know the buffed up is in the way um code buffed up 22 20 percent off supports me and supports you I mean, we're still shreddy but look, comment how you be taking your pre-workout. I mean, not pre-workout. I don't try screw pre-workout. I'm not one of those people. Um, your creatine. Like, do you be mixing or do you just take it as a scoop? Because, like... I'm not trying to drink chalky water, so I just be taking it as a scoop, and it just turns into like drinking sand at the beach. And I mean, we all be accidentally doing that. All right. So a key thing about rest days, um, in my opinion, is really relaxing because during the week you should be pushing. Hard. Well, not just during the week. This just happens to be a weekend. Um, during the week you're really pushing hard. You are destroying your body and your muscles in every way that you can because that's how we grow so realistically you should really be taking some time to relax um active rest days are great getting in steps is great it's great to not mess up your calories and whatnot um but do things that you truly enjoy and relax and i'm actually i pre-ordered the new call of duty in hopes that it'll be good because the beta just came out so i'm like all right i can play the beta god forbid it sucks i'll just cancel but do things that you really enjoy to really relax your mind and your body and it'll go a long way all right meal one is about to go down we have in our bowl frosted flakes um serving the half i'm gonna do a cup of two percent milk and, you know, this is clearly just a carb-filled meal because carbs are good. They don't make you fat, you keto people. Um, so this is just a breakfast meal, meal number one. It's all about getting some carbs in starting the day. It's not going to overly fill me, but it'll be good. Um, and it helps with the sweet tooth. So I'm going to go get this down. I will catch you guys at the next food time. All right, we are about to eat the meal that you all know about, and it all starts with this plate. There's beef on that plate, and smell it real quick. Yeah, taco meat. So, you know what's up? The burritos. Um, everything's pretty much the same as it's always been. A little extra beef, salsa. The tortillas are mission carb friendly or whatever keto because they didn't have the ole ones um they're almost the same thing 
So um, I'm going to get into these, eat these, I'll make them, I'll show you them, and I'll be right back. All right, here we are, all crispy and ready to be munched. I think I put a little too much salsa in there because they dripped all over the place, but that's okay. I'm gonna get these down real quick because you know the burritos they just be flying down. Um, so I will catch you guys at the next meal. Of course, you guys basically know the fucking masters of this one, uh, but I'll catch you at the next meal. Thank you for staying tuned. So. Three more meals to go. All right, meal number three. Meal number three is rather simple. It is a Marie Callender mac and cheese pulled pork bowl. Macros, not the best, um, but it's enjoyable and it has a ton of carbs. So, um, meeting 3,000 calories in a day right now, I mean, you can have a little not great macros, snacks, and meals, and it doesn't upset your percentages. I mean, I'm still only eating like 19% fat on the day, just because of how much of everything else that I'm eating. So, I'm gonna get this down, and I'll see you guys back with snack number one, actually. Crazy, I know. All right, another snack. Well, actually, the first snack in this video, but something that you guys should know very well by now pretzels i mean we're just gonna keep eating the same stuff just up the doses every time because you know the macros um you'll see new stuff here and there but i mean realistically guys i eat the same stuff that i eat on prep off prep just higher portions that's the bodybuilding life it's what people call it boring repetitive but not to me because these results are Coming in, boys. We growing. We are growing. I mean, no pump here. Biceps are much bigger. Shoulders massive. Chest growth has been insane. Still got abs. I mean, whew. all right. Stay tuned for the next meal. It's gonna be just a bodybuilding classic. So, all right, bodybuilding classic meal: water, chicken, rice. So, again, same diet, same meals, just bigger portions. Instead of just normal tea, normal plain white rice salted, we have the special rice aroni rice. It's a little higher calorie, but you get some cheese in it, it tastes better. And on prep, I'd probably eat less beef in my burrito and more chicken. Um, but chicken hot take here, guys. Chicken's like a protein shake. It's all protein. You get nothing out of it with this rice, minus protein. So you have the rice, give you carbs. But it's like having a protein shake. You're just having protein beef you're getting a bunch of different things you're getting all all the stuff that comes with the beef it's giving you so much more than just protein so you know hot take chicken's a little overrated but it's good it's a tool as are most things in the bodybuilding world so we eat i'll catch you guys back at the next meal thank you another meal that needs no introduction eggs sugar free syrup Toast. Honestly, you probably can't do a full day of eating for a while because it's just the same stuff every time. We're gonna have to wait till I'm like heavy bulk and like who even knows what calories I'll be at that point at this at this rate. But I'm gonna get down these eggs. Super easy though to get down. I don't even really feel like eating them, but we're just gonna they'll be gone. Um so I'll catch you guys. Uh this is the last meal, so I will catch you guys with the rest of my snacks. All right, so you guys already know this meal. Well, snack, my fault. Because we literally had it earlier in the video. We're going back for the second half. 
of the pretzels. So basically, I eat three servings of these a day, which is 84 grams or whatever. Um, they're low fat. You can find no fat. They're just, they don't have it very often. So a lot of the time I'll end up with the low fat. Um, and I mean, as you see on the screen, it's 0.75 pounds for one and a half, or 0.75 grams of fat for one and a half serving. So I'm only eating 1.5 grams of fat for two ounces, for two servings, three servings. God, I'm tired. Um, and you get all those carbs. It's I'm 69 funny grams of carbs for the entire, entire uh, three servings. Um, I'm gonna throw this out there now, since I'm right here. Having two of these bad boys today. Gonna split them up, have one now after pretzels and one after my last snack, which you guys will see basically right after I finish these pretzels because it's bedtime. Cheat meal tomorrow and a push session. Probably try and record a workout for you guys next Saturday. Probably. We'll see how the week goes. But uh, I'll catch you guys at last snack. Alright everyone. So, last meal of the day. A serving of Cheez-Its. Extra toasty. I ain't down with them not toasty Cheez-Its. Uh, but that's going to be the last snack of the day. On top of that second Rice Krispie treat. The one right after the pretzels. Um, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for being here, especially if you watch this far into it. I will catch you guys next week, of course. Comment what you guys want to see below. Comment what you think of this video. Um, I know this was kind of probably a little shorter. But, yeah, and I probably won't do a full day of eating in a bit just because these meals are kind of just the same still. Um, I'd love to do a full day of eating while I work, but I don't know how to do my lunch. Probably just be a silent video. But regardless, code BUCKDUCK22 gets you 20% off. Thank you for tuning in. Have an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all them funny things. My veins be popping right now, because I'm still losing weight. It's crazy. Um... Stay tuned because, you know, big things are going to change when I'm doing this bulk, boys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Have a great day.